Patrick McNeil here at the intermission. And joined now by Victoria Viltigue, 20 year old forward, Thomas Belgard. Thomas, you're off to a good start. Your team's off to a good start. What are your thoughts on your season and the teams thus far? We're good. We are a good group of guys. Everyone's like buy in, just pushing the same direction. And we're young. A lot of young players, and they're really good. They enjoy being here, and like, they just follow the leaders too. We have a great group of leaders. Like, it's fun to play. Now, you kind of caught this league by surprise with yeah. your strong start. Were you guys surprised in the room? Did you think that you could have this kind of season? I was surprised. I didn't know we were that good, but we're really good. Like I said, everyone buys in, and the young players make the job too. We're surprised, and like you said, we were surprised all the league, and it's nice to play like that and win like that. Yeah, really nice when you can surprise yourself. But yeah. You've talked already yeah, yeah. a lot about what a young team this is. You wear an A, one of the 20-year-olds. Does that letter carry more responsibility, given that it is such a young team? Yeah, because it's a new job for me, a new responsibility, because the three past year I was in the good, good teams. Like back in Chikunimi, we were good. Last year in Batters, we were really good. And now I'm the older guy, so I'm more like a big brother to them. And like, I like this job, and it's good, yeah. You took an interesting path to the queue because you didn't play in the U18 league. You played for a school team. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the school that you played for and how beneficial was that for you because you did make it to the queue. Yeah, it's not the usual path for everyone else. And when I was in high school, I played football too. I was there to have fun with my friends and play hockey and football at the same time. I didn't know I was going to the queue back then. And, and I just have fun playing hockey. And like today's too, uh, at 20 years old, I just have fun on the ice. It's good to hear that. It should be about having fun. And you, yeah. were, you were a quarterback in yeah. football. Talk about deciding to pick hockey over football, and how much do you think that helped your hockey ability? I'm sure a quarterback obviously has to read the play. Yeah, good vision. I think it's my strength on the ice. As a quarterback, you have to see all the play, and it helped too for my vision on the ice and build plays and everything. It was a tough decision back then when I went to the queue over continuing football, but I think it's a great decision, and it's a good career in the queue too. Yeah, it's working out so far. You talked about playing with the Sags in the 2019-2020 yeah. season. The Eagles had a really strong year that year. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. wonder what could have been. How much of that was in your dressing room? How disappointed were the Sags that year? Do you think that that could have been your year to win the President's Cup? Like I said, it was really disappointing because I think we had a really good team. Like you said, Cape Breton had a good team too. I remember that. It was always tough to play against them. But it's tough to <laughs> think Never about know. it. Yeah, think about it. How could it be like ended with the cup? Or we don't know, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, everybody went through it, I guess. Yeah, and yeah. during your time in Chikudami, you were teammates with Julian Ebert for a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Just talk about being teammates with him. Was he a fun guy to practice with? I love this guy. Like he was my great friend. And just yesterday when I came in, I texted him and we saw each other. And a really good friend. And back in Chikudami, we were always together. And it's always fun to play against him. Yeah. Tough player to play against, too. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. You were a bit of a viral sensation in the playoffs last year after the OT win, triple overtime in Halifax. You chug a beer on your way off the ice. He's legal age, folks. This is all okay. Was that the best beer you'd ever had? And were you surprised at how many people messaged you after you had that beer? Yeah, it was a little bit warm beer. Like, <laughs> not, not really good, but I was surprised because I didn't know I was filmed right. on video. And after the game, I just checked my phone. I was like maybe 300 messages. And I didn't know what happened. So I just look at the Instagram and Facebook. I was there every time. It's kind of funny, but it was not really that good. <laughs> you, you probably made a point to go back and get some water, too, after 3 OT. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was exhausted. Uh, but it's just like circumstances. We played for f maybe five hours. It was just funny. Uh, everyone laughed, but I didn't know I was filmed back then. It was a pretty funny moment. Now, people may not remember, you actually were technically a Cape Breton Eagle for a short period of time <laughs> during the off season, just the way the trades work out. Did you even know you were an Eagle? Do you have any merchandise to show for your time with Cape Breton? I knew back then because the new GM here is like Couturier. It was the GM in Batters too. So we talked a lot. He said to me, I was going to be traded here to be traded in Quebec. So it wasn't a surprise, but it's kind of funny. I was a Cape Breton Eagle for a little bit. <laughs> At least you know, he went from one black and gold yeah, team I mean, to another one. You come from a small town in Quebec, and I understand not a lot of players have played pro hockey from there. Maybe yeah. none. Just talk about how much of a motivator is that for you. Like you said, a very small city. It's kind of funny when you think about it. We're not a lot in the city, but it's nice. And maybe it will be the first player to play. I don't know, but it would be nice. No pressure. Now, no. I think you probably think of yourself as a defensive player first, but now the success has started to come, and a power play specialist leading the league in power play goals. How surprised are you that that part of your game is coming naturally? Yeah, but like it's surprising. I always consider myself a defensive player, like you said. When I'm important face-offs, playing the play PK, playing the D zone, but when I have like ice time on the PP and everything, it just happened naturally. And playing with good guys like Pellerin and Perroy, they had the blue line and Fournier, they're really good players, so it's made my job easier. Lastly, I'll ask your 20-year-old season. I know you're enjoying it the present, but do you think about what comes next, next season? 
Yeah, I have no choice to think about it, but I like, I don't know how to say it. I think of the prison right now, I just focus myself like to play each game and every day, but like you said, it comes to my mind naturally. Well, fans of Victoriaville are enjoying you playing for the time being. Best of luck, Thomas. Thanks for this. Thank you very much. As Thomas Bulgar joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.